Hi beautiful soul, it's Jazz and welcome back to Life by Jazz. For first time subscribers, welcome to my channel. This channel is all about designing the life that you love. So I wanted to share in this video how to start measuring your own personal growth so that you can really see the transformation in your life. This coming year, I knew that I wanted a more holistic picture of 2017. I needed it in order to really achieve my goals. And so I bought the Artists of Life workbook by Lavendaire. Now, if you don't already know this beautiful soul, please check her out. She's an amazing online creator. She continues to inspire me to live and design the life that I love. This workbook starts off by highlighting your successes and your failures in 2016. A year ago today, I was out of a job, I was healing from a car accident, and I literally had like $10 in my bank account. I was feeling like a major failure. And today, I am so blessed to say that I make more money than I ever have in my entire life, and I'm a real aspiring entrepreneur who invests in her business with time, money, and energy. And I would not have been able to come this far if it weren't for two things. And the first thing is documenting and journaling and paying attention day to day, month to month of what my goals are and how I can achieve them. The second thing is investing and really getting the support that I need to stay on track. I got myself business coaching and the tools and the education that I needed in order to really build and achieve my goals. And that's the thing that I love so much about this workbook is that it comes with both. So you're paying attention to and tracking your goals the whole year with this workbook. And then on top of that, it comes with support from Eileen of Lavendaire. She has a Facebook support group and she's gonna be doing webinars. So I didn't just buy a workbook, I am a part of a community that is supporting me in 2017 and that gets me so excited. Those are two ways that you can really start measuring your goals and seeing transformation in your life. I'm really excited to share more about this workbook and what I am planning to achieve in 2017 in my next video. Eileen actually is so gracious and she is going to give gift one of you guys out there, one of her amazing workbooks. So all you need to do is check out this link below to enter and comment here, let me know. How far have you come in 2016? How have you seen your life transform? It could be little or it could be big. I just wanna know how far have you come in 2016? Let's celebrate all of our wins and share with each other here in this community. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up because that really helps me and lets me know to create more videos. Make sure to subscribe and head on over to my website, Life by Jazz, where you can sign up for email updates and my free training series. It's been a pleasure connecting with you. I can't wait to see you next week in the new year. Namaste, Ashe, that means good vibes, good energy, and blessings to you. I am so proud of how far I've come in 2016 so I wanted to share with you guys what I wrote here in this workbook and what I'm proud of, my highlights, my successes and my failures. Some of my highlights this year were definitely going to festivals and also going as an artist. So I was, I went to Lightning in a Bottle and I went to Symbiosis and I really reignited my love for art and music. Another highlight of mine was definitely my 30th birthday and just letting go of all the expectations of birthdays and enjoying and celebrating all that I have in my life right now. Also so grateful for reaching 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube. I'm just so beyond words and I'm so grateful for every single one of you who tunes in, watches these videos, comments, and allows me to connect with you and create this beautiful community. So some things that worked for me in 2016 that were successes were definitely filming and posting to YouTube more consistently, learning a new editing platform. Another huge success for me was getting coached. I progressed in my business and in life because I had support and accountability. Some things that didn't work 
this year were I lost my court case. For those of you who've been following my accident, I went to court and it was a huge learning experience for me. It was a, a huge spiritual growth and it was really painful, but I learned so much and I really feel like it has made me into the strong spiritual gangster that I am today. I also learned a ton in 2016. I learned what a mature relationship looks like. I've been with my boyfriend and my partner for over six years now, and it's really been an amazing journey. My life has evolved in 2016 because I really saw how prayer changed. I pray every single day and it changed my life. So the thing I'm most grateful for in 2016 is definitely aligning with God and really seeing my spiritual journey and my calling, finding my calling. I'm so grateful for every single person I've connected with this year, whether it's online or offline. You guys made my year. I love you. So you want to know how far I've come since high school? Well, I was a really dark little girl. I have my high school um, journal here of poetry and I'm going to read some of it to you because it's <laughs> it's hilarious, but um, yeah, it's really emotional and it says I hate the world. <laughs> I hate you and your crew I want to escape this high school world and its blindness Ignorance is bliss and you swim in it like it gets really dark actually My uh, my boyfriend and I we read through this whole book. It's it's packed packed with some really dark poetry and um yeah, it's just really fun to like read through this, ready? So, tears just fall, I don't know why. In reality, I don't want to die. I have so much to love and it's just so easy to forget when you're treated like a slave. <laughs> Not like a child or even a pet. I have, so you guys, I need to work on my slam poetry out here and that's why I'm gonna give a shout out to Barbara of Created to Inspire, she's also a poet and knows a lot about the art of poetry and reading. And I mentioned to her that I used to write poetry when I was in high school. So um, hopefully um, when I write, start writing again, it won't be as dark as, as this. <laughs> but um, that is one piece of memorabilia that I found in my, when I was cleaning out my parents house of all of my stuff and just got to see how far they've far I've come from like this really dark teenage angst to to where I am today and really dedicated to taking that pain and fueling it into into spiritual growth into personal growth so I also found this one and this is my very first vision board, you guys. Um, and it's so amazing to reflect on this because I actually have some really eerie things that have come into fruition. And I made this when I was 17, so I literally didn't really know much about what I was putting on here. Um, but some of the things on here are, I actually have like, I think this is, Versailles or some sort of picture of Europe, but I just knew that I wanted to live in Europe for a little bit and I end up I ended up studying abroad in Prague actually when I was in college like four years after after call after or maybe three years after high school, but I also have a picture of this girl doing capoeira, which is so weird because I literally knew nothing about capoeira at that point didn't know anyone who did it um, I probably just saw it in a magazine and was like, oh, that looks so cool. Like, I'll cut it out. I've been doing capoeira now for almost eight years, which is amazing. It's a really big part of my life. So, two really major things. I also have, like, surfing up there. So I've always wanted to surf in, in um, Bali. I went surfing in Bali, like, two years ago. Um, I have, like, this girl who's cutting shirts and it's because I wanted to redo vintage stuff and sell it and I did that when I was in college. I sold at the Melrose Trading Post um, some vintage stuff. I also have a picture of a 
girl and a guy kissing on the beach and that's because I just wanted I'd never been kissed and I wanted to be kissed on a beach and I've done that many times so um, that is some of the things that I found also recently my junior high mentor sent me a note that is so cute. I wrote when I was 11 and she had it in her when she was cleaning up her memorabilia and she took a picture and she sent it to me and I thought it was so amazing. As an 11 year old, there's some things that just never change. The things that I had written down for my New Year's resolutions was that I wanted to, I wanted to have more friends. I wanted to have more connections and I wanted to grow my walk with God. I wanted to get better grades. Basically, I wanted to improve, which is how I still am today. The thing that cracks me up about this note is at the bottom it says, I want to drink more juice, <laughs> which as an 11 year old, wow, like I, I can't believe that today, like juicing is still something that I totally love and now it's a, a thing and as an 11 year old I was really trend setting I guess but I just wanted to share that with you guys because again documenting and keeping you know certain memorabilia like this can be so powerful to really see how far you've come and to celebrate that because that is really what the energy of New Year's Eve is all about is celebrating how far you've come and looking forward to all that you're gonna bring into this next year.